Hey there, Crystal Covington, founder of Women of Denver, here with one of our members, Dana Kirschmar. She is VP of Product Management at Smart Sky Networks and is doing some really incredible things with her passions right now, supporting people in STEAM by talking about what's new, highlighting really amazing innovations, and she's using the hashtag STEAM Rising. I'm really excited to learn a little bit more about what you're doing. So let's start off by talking about um, telling us a little bit about what you're going to be sharing there. And then I want to know a little bit more about your background and what drove you to this passion. So um, I'm really um, passionate about girls and women in STEM careers and helping them um, uh, have successful STEM careers or STEAM careers without losing track of who they are personally. So um, I have over 30 years experience in the um, aviation and aerospace industry. Um, I worked on the very first classified space shuttle launch. I was actually one of the people in mission control that got to say go, no go for my particular system. So I did that. I worked at, um, I designed that autopilot, one of the designers of the autopilot of the very fastest business jet. Um, and then I also worked at a star, startup aircraft manufacturer that was designing and building an airplane from scratch. So I've gotten to do lots of different things and I've had this really cool career. But about three years ago, um, I was fired from my job completely unexpectedly and out of the blue. And I found myself looking in the mirror and, and saying, who am I? You know, what, what, someone asked me a question, well, what, what do you, what kinds of things do you enjoy doing and what do you consider play? And I couldn't even remember. I didn't, you know, I didn't remember that I loved to ski and I loved and I loved to play the piano and all that stuff that I lost while having um, a cool career, but, but missing out on the things that made me exactly who I was. So that's what really made me passionate about moving forward with um, STEM and STEAM. I love that. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where sometimes we do get so um, deep into our careers that we don't realize that there's things that we're not expressing. And I love that you were able to find that new expression of things what are some of the things that you're going to be sharing and, and things that people can find as a resource there? So um, what I'm doing with my blog right now is I'm picking out um, stories and interviews with women who have interesting STEM and STEAM careers, things that you wouldn't expect. Like, um, did you know that uh, being a pastry chef is actually a STEAM career? Um, designing skateboard parks is a STEAM career. So I'm trying to dig down into things that kids are interested in today in order to get them going with STEM and STEAM and then move into the into the college and, and having a career that's around something that they're interested in, but that's not necessarily what you would consider a scientist or, or an engineer role. There are, there are all kinds of possibilities with, with STEM and STEAM, and I think that we've been too narrow in our focus on, on what the definition of, of a STEM job is. I love that. Yeah, it makes it really approachable. So it changes the this we have this picture of it being like so big and a certain kind of person and person that we can't even necessarily relate to is what we have as that picture. And so you're giving people another picture of something that they can see themselves in and see as kind of cool and kind of interesting and kind of fun. And I think that's I'm sure that's going to change that um, narrative for a lot of people. I hope so. I found that this, while I was putting together the blog that I'm going to publish either today or tomorrow, I found this really cool website called If Then um, Connection. And um, it, it actually has pictures of uh, people in STEM careers, women in particular, in STEM and STEAM careers out in the field doing what they do for a living. So, so one of their hashtags is, do you know what a scientist looks like? Or do you want to know what a scientist looks like? And it's all of these photographs of, of women in STEAM careers doing things that you wouldn't necessarily think um, were STEAM careers. It was a really cool website. Oh, yeah, that sounds really great. All right, so tell us where we can find your blog and I'll make sure to link to it as well, but how can people keep in touch with you? So it's actually my website, which is um, danakirchmar.com and um, I post probably two or three times a week with resources, not just for um, adults to read, but also there are great links to um, places where kids can go and learn. Um, I posted yesterday a link to the Air and Space Museum education page where you can learn all about 
aviation and space and all of that. So lots of resources there and lots of good articles on women who, um, who actually have STEAM careers. Wonderful. Thanks for taking the time to chat with me. I really appreciate your time today. Uh, thank you. Bye. Bye.